Um, so this video is going to talk to uh, educators or anybody who really wants to have a TI-83 emulator on their Mac. Um, of course, there are a lot of these kinds of things available for the Windows, but not very many are obvious anyways to find for the Mac. And so I just wanted to show my solution here. Um, so I did a search for TI-83 emulator, and I found this guy's Google site page, which is a nice page, simple, straightforward, uh, but it's all about using it on the Windows system. Uh, but these two files right here, the ROM file and the skin file, uh, are generic. They'll work for Windows or Mac. So if you can download both of those to your downloads folder or documents or wherever you want to save them, just as long as you know where they are. Um, so download them both. Uh, save link as usually works good uh, for both of those. And then once you have those ROM files, that's the actual uh, the brain or what actually makes the calculator work. Um, but what we need is an emulator software so that the computer, in this case my Mountain Lion Mac, uh, needs to know how to interpret those ROM files. And so if I go to um, Wabbit Studio, and again I searched for a TI-83 emulator for Mac, and I was able to find this uh, Wabbit Studio, which is only the emulator. It doesn't contain the ROM files. And so uh, it does work with a, a range of um, TI ROM files, if you find others, um, anywhere from the TI-81 through the 86, and these are all based on the same Z80 uh, chip. And so what you need is to go to Downloads, and then go here to Other Available Downloads, and you can find the Mac version. And once you click on that, the Mac version will download automatically. And so I'll just cancel that because I've already got it on my machine. And uh, in order to run the emulator, um, you click, it's, it's running here, so I go open, in my case, recent TI-83-1 ROM. And so that's the one that I downloaded from this website. And now here is the emulator. And it starts off in a brand new factory reset condition, uh, which also has, in my opinion, a screen contrast that is a little bit too low. So you click second and increase your screen contrast a little bit so that your text is more uh, legible, easy to read. Uh, but then it works just like any other TI-83 calculator. And so we can click on the buttons with the mouse and everything works just fine. Uh, we can use the second button to access some of the other features. We can access the menus, use the buttons to scroll through the menus. It is a fully functional calculator. Um, we get our graphings and all of the uh, all of the features that come with that. And we get our variables, everything. Uh, we can do use the keyboard itself, uh, the computer keyboard, to input numbers and things like that. Um, one minus four, enter, works just fine. Four, and then using the asterisk, doesn't work. And the delete or back, backspace, neither of those work. Um, but the cursor does. So you can use the left and right arrow cursors to uh, to go back. Your up and down cursors don't seem to work the same to go up the stack. Um, so yeah, that's the TI-83 emulator for Mac.